Hi everyone, welcome back to the Get A Brew channel. So today I'm joined by my friend Michal. Uh, Michal is the co-owner of Hemisad Hops and he's also the managing director. Jack of all trades. Yeah, 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 yeah. You say true. you do everything from the cleaning right through <laughs> yeah, to the, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sort of director which has to do everything. So yeah, yeah. From sit on the forklift, never a problem because I'm from the farm side. Yeah. I understand all those. All, all that kind of stuff, yeah. and to the sales side of yeah, any everything. kind of the brewer, I would say. Like, so today we're going to talk about Slovenian hops, specifically. You're a hop merchant with your business partner Marco and the yep. team here in Hemmerzell, yep. but you also have a unique experience where you're a third generation hop farmer exactly. in the beautiful valley of Slovenian Gradak. Yeah. Did I get the pronunciation right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, okay, okay. it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. So, why Slovenian hops? And I know you're born into Slovenian hops, but why should our customers use Slovenian hops? First thing is tradition. Yeah. And it was highly un underrated in the past, our Slovenian hops, because we have seen in the recent years quite a good success of sales yeah. of our products. We approach some big guys because we convince them with the, with the whole things that we have now there in Slovenia, uh, they, they, they choose us. Yeah. Uh, from the growing side, we have one of the best, I would say, best equipped, equipped farmers in the Europe. 90% of all production in Slovenia is irrigated, yeah. so it gives to the brewers some security. So we are able to supply year to year good quality, not so many issues like this year with the drought and uh, heat wave. Yeah. Uh, and sustainable, let's say, sustainable production at the, uh, at the other hand. Because Slovenia is really a green country and uh, People are proud of our heritage, yeah. how green we want to be. Yeah. And pairing that with modern storage and, and processing facilities, this is incredible, you know, in here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> just finished this year? Finished this year, in yeah. August. Uh, just before the harvest season, we try to push, yeah. uh, to try to, to, get it, to get it ready, because it's a crucial point with the hop that we keep it as soon as possible from the yeah. Farmer side to the merchant to, to our facility in yeah. a cold chain. It's, yeah, to keep yeah. it cold as quickly as possible to get uh, to stop the process of uh, degradation. Or, yeah, you know, yeah. the HSI level is a crucial point yeah. also for the big guys and it gives uh, especially good freshness to the hops. We, I would say, we follow to the Americans, you know, yeah. they established this a few years ago yeah. and we try to follow them to head a cold chain from the farmers to our side, to the facility that yeah. you also... And the, on to see. the end user yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. We have been friends for a long time, coming up on 10 years now. 10 years yeah. now, yeah. Um, and the really interesting thing was like, it was Twitter. Wasn't it Twitter we yeah, met I on? Yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we became good friends, our family have become yeah. friends and things. One thing that I'm very passionate about is working with family businesses, okay? So there's lots of family businesses here and obviously we have the opportunity to work closely with you for a long time. I know that you have um, Styrian Goldens and Aurora. It's in every recipe that I use myself. You know that now, it's in a lot of our homebrew recipes because of the terroir, you know, the yeah. valley, yeah. the experience that I've had there when I've visited on multiple occasions. So that does have an impact, the actual growing region, you know, and in comparison to, you know, I mean, where you're geographically located helps you grow better hops. Would you agree? That's true, that's true. And Styria actually means the region, you know, it's like you have Hallertau, Tradition, Hallertau, Perle, and we yeah. have Styria. Styria is the region. Yeah. We are sharing the boards with, uh, let's say, with the, the Austrians. Yeah. So Styria is a region and we have, yeah, the most, I would say, uh, the main portfolio is aroma hops, noble hops, yeah. for the uh, ales, bitters, yeah. like it was in past, quite important market for the UK. Yeah. Uh, and we are now also approaching the market with uh, with new varieties, developed yeah. like five, seven years ago, at yeah. our, because we have all our own institute, yeah. so we have the hop breeding and the brewing researchers, and we are tightly connected together, yeah. we are getting experience from the brewers, we try to approach them, to let yeah. them know that they'll get uh, more and more feeling about the market as well. So, uh, an inter interesting story, anyhow, so. So, I've mentioned Styrian Goldens and Aurora. 
What other varieties would you encourage the viewers to try from Slovenia? The good thing it is, what we learned from the brewers, let's say, in, the, in our region, we kick out many European other varieties. I don't want to talk about it, yeah. but because uh, <laughs> yeah. with sustainable production and uh, the, the, let's say for the irrigation yeah. process that yeah. we have year to year, same crop and the yields and the alpha, also the alpha contents, uh, varieties which was good for the, for the lager, for the prisoners and whatever. Yeah. And we are easily changeable for the, let's say, sauce, middle fruit, whatever. Yeah. And in other terms, we also approach new varieties which are blended pretty well together with American ones. Yeah. So all the peaks, you know, when you have with the analyzers with the American hops and with the Slovenian hops, it blends well together. Yeah. So it's not comes for the different hardness and so on. Yeah. Uh, and we will be able to also to try after on some good beers at the Green Gold Brewery yeah. uh, in, in the valley, which yeah. are, I would say, good experts. They know, they know their field. So. Yeah. If, if I get customers chatting to me about Slovenian hops, I, I share my experience and love of Slovenia. Like the, this place is untouched by industry. In my opinion, it's a beautiful, close to nature type place to visit. So they'll say what type of beers would, would the hops pair with. So for me, I think Styrian Goldens is a beautiful hop for lagers and pilsners. I like Aurora and all sorts of beers, you know, from lagers. Yeah, it has right. a gentle bitterness, not so harsh. Yeah. Then we have like Styrian Dragon with a good yeah. pineapple, uh, green apple flavor. Yeah. We have Wolf, which is a really strong one with how high alpha and oil content. Yeah. A little bit tricky to work with it, but once you get on yeah. top, once you learn, yeah. How to deal with it? It's a brilliant hop. Then we have Colibri, which has a really high level of farnesy, yeah. like double comparing to SAS. Yeah. And it's really stable in the production of yeah. uh, with the hop growing. So you can easily change in that yeah. terms as well. It has a lot of flavor, elder flavor notes, and so on. And it's really, really yeah. worked nice in the business. We also have Bobek, uh, Savinsky Goldings. Yeah. Um, Savinsky Golden is a little bit tricky, to be yeah. honest. Uh, their yields are so fluctuating yeah. that we try to replace with the Styrian Gold variety, yeah. that the brewers will recognize that. Uh, and uh, Bobek, yeah, just a brilliant hops for, yeah. for, for any kind of, yeah. let's say, modern animals. We've been doing a lot of uh, Belgian styles ourselves since right. we started working with Thingamans Malt. So yeah. I've noticed, you know, yeah. Obviously, you want to use yeah. the, you know, the traditional methods. So yeah. not only doing spontaneous fermentations in like that lambic traditional, but also traditional Belgian pale ales and things. Um, Styrian hops work exceptionally well with those beers. So oh, I'm uh, happy to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how are you finding, you know, rice lagers and things like that are a growing trend? Are you seeing a lot of? I'm support? not home there. I will be honest. I'm not home there. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, but are, are you seeing a lot of Asian customers buying uh, your hops from Slovenia because they're used in those beers? We share, let's say, we share. We don't want to keep only one market, Yeah. but we are getting more and more and brought yeah. for that reasons. Uh, to at least to get avoid risk, risk yeah. management, which is yeah. also important. So we have clients, quite a good clients in Belgium. Yeah. Quite a bit of clients also in UK through you. Yeah. Then the uh, Spanish market is developing, developing quite well. Yeah. Quite well. We have a new style Italian pilsner in Italy. Yeah. And they they want to use Slovenian hops for yeah. that reason because we are geographically we are neighbors. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then we have quite a bit of uh, clients for now in Russia. Yeah. And uh, sadly, also in Ukraine, with all this yeah. stuff, what's happening? Japanese customers, Vietnam, Chinese. Yeah. yeah, we are not that much present in the states. Yeah, I believe that they are a hop, hop country, and they have enough hops okay. for the moment. But yeah. yeah, maybe in the future we'll do some job yeah. also there. There's been a, a, a really bad European harvest, especially German region. So, Milfru, Saz, and uh, Czech Saz obviously has been badly affected. There's a shortage of it. When, when brewers are coming to me looking for solutions at the minute, I'm going to try Styrian Gold. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Bobek, Styrian Golding, Styrian Gold, uh, Colibri. Yeah. Those are all varieties which can be easily be replaceable in the in the recipe. Yeah. It's not going to be a big change, yeah. definitely, on the beer flavor. Uh, but we will be really keen if the brewers will decide to use 
yeah. our hops. Yeah. From our region. Yeah. Look, guys, thanks so much for watching. The reason I wanted to come here today, um, obviously I get to catch up with a friend of mine. I get to introduce you to his um, processing facilities. But I want to shine a light on Slovenian hops. Uh, they are hugely popular in the UK market. They're used a lot in traditional British eels, golden eels, bitters, milds. Um, but they're also trending now in with, like wolves being used in IPAs. We're seeing you know lots of people evolving from one variety that they always used, and because of harvest reasons, they're having to move to something else. But these are great quality hops. They're all available from us. You can see the facilities we've toured today. So cold chain storage to get a brood. If we repackage it, it's really carefully looked after. So you're getting an ultra premium, high quality um, hop at the end. Um, it's coming from a family farm or other family farms in this region. And these guys care about quality so much so that they're investing and leading the way. So, check out the Slovenian hops on the Getterbrood website. If you're watching this from outside the UK and Ireland, make sure you check out the Hemazad website and reach out to Michal or Marco. And until next time, happy brewing.